We're visiting Maurice Lacroix somewhere in the Swiss Jura Mountains. The brand was founded in 1975 and was mainly known for producing very good quality but very affordable luxury watches. In 2006 they launched their first in-house movement and they refocused the entire collection towards the Masterpiece collection, coming up with some very interesting mechanical marvels. In 2014, Stefan Wassel took over the CEO position. The decision was made to refocus the brand and go back to the roots, meaning accessible luxury. Earlier this year they launched the Icon Automatic and that was a very pleasant surprise. It's like an affordable take on the luxury sports watch and it looks very good. We're going to be talking to the brand CEO, Stefan Wasser. origins were private labeling uh, where we were very successful and actually in 1975 we decided to create the brand Maurice Lacroix. Since the start we were known for high perceived value products. This was uh, kind of the key selling proposal we had in the, in the 90s. Always uh, evolving in the end of the 90s, in 1999, we decided to do our first in-house movement uh, or let's say in-house complication which was the Calendrier Retrograde. And 2001, we did the double retrograde. Uh, these watches, of course, part of a collection masterpiece, which uh, was founded starting the years uh, 1992. With the first masterpiece, actually, was the Saint Aiguille Five Hands. On uh, the evolution of Maurice Lacroix, after the year 2000, we started to move up more into integration in terms of uh, production technologies. We had our first manufacturing movement, which is completely in-house developed and produced. Uh, in 2006 with the Le Chronograph and 2007-2008 we revamped our whole collection of this manufacturing strategy. Coming in the years 2009 and onwards we readjusted that we saw that actually the, our customer base uh, preferred uh, watches in the area of 1000 to 3000 Swiss francs and there we um, relaunched a few exceptional masterpieces on the lab in the years 2012, 13, 14 with uh, Roux Carré, uh, Gravity and of course uh, Second Mysterious. 2014 we were looking in the portfolio because we had a very balanced portfolio, uh, very famous uh, and iconic watches with the masterpiece range on the high end of the portfolio but we were missing on the entry range a very iconic product. Um, this is when we did some design studies in 2014, customer research, worked with retail, and we, we actually were looking for a watch that was very recognizable and very qualitative in the quartz entry price range. I became CEO in 2014. Uh, I've actually joined Maurice Lacroix in 2008, just before we started with the uh, masterpiece strategy, and of course lived the whole repositioning with them. Um, at that time in 2014, what I've seen is the brand lacked clarity and the brand really lacked a face. And what we really worked on with uh, actually all our collections first, what we've done is we streamlined our collections, we reduced the, the number of SKUs, we were over 350 SKUs on the price list, today we're about 160. And also um, in terms of consistency, um, we were changing every year, uh, we were coming with new models, every year we were pushing new collections, and change, too many changes. So in 2014, we needed a, a very, first of all, a recognizable product, which uh, we developed, and we, we, which is the rebirth of the Calypso, which already was a very successful watch for most Lacroix in, in 1992, but we redesigned it, so we brought it back. This is the Icon collection, but what we also done is uh, there's a second collection which we're also stabilizing, it's Masterpiece. So, you know, you have now two collections at Maurice Lacroix, which have been with the brand for over than 30 years, uh, since the 90s. Uh, it's the Masterpiece range and it's the Icon range. And with this, uh, we've introduced, uh, you know, we, we looked also at all activities, also in, in terms of sales, working with assortment, streamlining everything, focusing, being very consistent because uh, the type of company we are and the size of our company, we need to be very focused and consistent to have uh, an effort and to make a, a point out there in the market. 
in 2014, we, we, as you know, you're always looking for solutions, but often the so proposal or the, the solution is in front of you. And uh, this is when we, we recognized that the Calypso, who uh, was one of our most successful watches starting the 90s, um, could be redesigned. And this is what we've done. Uh, we launched the redesign or the rebirth of the Calypso in 2016 with the Icon, first in quartz. And uh, this redesign, this quartz model is very uh, recognizable because here I have an Icon watch. What the Icon collection uh, makes or what's special make is from the Calypso is you have these six arms, you have the very flat dial and you have the screw crown. So these are the, uh, especially for the screw crown, work the quality aspects and, and points of this watch in the 90s. With the Icon, we have found something that is very, very qualitative and also in terms of design, uh, taps in into this kind of a sport luxury segment that is today very demanded for our customers. In 2016, the Quartz version, uh, we saw that we could do an automatic, but there we took time to develop the automatic. We took two years time uh, because it needed to be, you know, from a Quartz, the Quartz was already a very high perceived value, but the automatic needed to be also uh, very qualitative. And also in terms of design, trying to, to, to balance and to have a, a proper Quartz design and that the, the automatic design, that it's even more uh, value, that it's even more uh, luxurious, was quite a, a hard exercise. So after two years, uh, we, we finally, uh, after all the investments and the design studies and the research, we have found and have launched this product, which is the Icon Automatic on the chronograph version. Here it's a 44 millimeters. You have screw crowns. You have, again, the flat sapphire crystal. You have the six arms. And also what we have new is an easy strap exchange system, which you just uh, pull out the strap and you could put for example, on this version, a steel bracelet. And also in the collection, you have the three hands, uh, which retails at, at about 1,700 Swiss francs. This one retails at about 2,600 Swiss francs. So, you know, it's very aggressive prices, high quality products. And also on the Icon, uh, we've gone one step further. We've introduced a masterpiece movement. It's basically our skelet base of the ML, um, skeleton, masterpiece skeleton, here in the Icon case. So here we really have, in terms of craftsmanship, the best you have for the brand. So as you know from, from Calypso in the past, what we see is uh, the, the Calypso was already at that time available quartz version, mechanical movement version, skelet version, and even a diver. So you see Maurice Lacroix in 2014, we've been really becoming much more focused and, and very consistent with our collections. Uh, Icon being the biggest chunk of the business, uh, and that's, that's something that we are very proud of. Now, looking at the future and where we're going to, I mean, Icon will continue to be a development base. Um, as I said before, you know, Calypso, we had quartz watches, mechanical watches, skeleton watches, and diver watches, so that's for sure something uh, you know, the success of this collection, we will also re reapply this to Icon because this is the right way to go. And um, the second collection we haven't spoken much about today, but uh, which is quite important for the brand, it's Masterpiece. That's where you can see the, the craftsmanship and the quality we're able here in our factory in Switzerland. And, uh, you know, stay tuned next year, in January, we will release a, a new Masterpiece or a new, um, you know, mechanical wonder. It will be very special and very, very unique, just like all our pieces, which are you know, the gravities, the mysterious seconds and the square wheels. So expect something in that area.